On the eve of Thanksgiving two years ago, a long, painstaking journey began. On that day, 28-year-old John Adkins was fleeing for his life, weaving in and out of traffic on Interstate 35, trying to escape a mad gunman fired up with road rage. John didn't make it. He was shot and killed in the middle of the day, in the middle of that busy freeway. They had to pass it, at least 100 cars. And yet, only seven witnesses ever came forward. Maybe the rest of the people on the freeway that day really didn't see what happened. Or more likely, maybe they did and are too afraid to talk about it or don't know that they may hold that tiny piece of information that could be the key to cracking this case. Every little thing that comes in, we save. And hopefully one day we can put it all together and, you know, as a puzzle. So far, Sergeant Mark Shoup of the Shirts Police Department has collected two full binders of information, including the license plates of every Texas car that matched the description of the suspect vehicle. We've gone through probably about 5,000 of them. The case has also been featured on America's Most Wanted, Still, no murderer, only a composite sketch of a suspect. It hangs above Sergeant Shoup's desk. A 15-year veteran, this is his only unsolved homicide, and he just can't quit thinking about it. Daily. Daily. I drive down the interstate almost every day, and so it's, it's there. It's something that never goes away. It's a personal venture of mine to solve this case. Um, I'm not quitting. I'm not giving up. Jason Wheeler, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.